Hey everybody, Barry here again. And tonight we have Chloe. Hi. Hi. So Chloe said the other day that she wanted to do a science experiment. And I was like, do I have the experiment for you? So tonight we're gonna make a flow bench for testing the flow and cleaning injectors. So I got a couple of piles of injectors here. This is ones I decapped in the last video. These are ones I did last year. And I'm gonna flow test those Make sure they don't leak, see which ones come out better, and pick a set that are nice and even. So we have here our clips, O-rings, and the bottom of the caps, because these don't have them on there where I decapped them. Bunch of connectors. I only need four, actually. Let's throw those away. And here's our fuel in. I just took the full rail, cut the end of it, welded it up. Now we got one fuel in that we're going to hook up onto this rail. And you can see how that's gonna go. Here's our fuel system, just an old inline pump, Corvette fuel pressure filter and regulator. So that's how we'll get our return. And here's the fluid we're gonna be using, it's methyl hydrate. It'll clean the injectors and it's got the same fluid consistency as gas from what I know. So as we're using it, it'll flush out any old dirt. The filter will catch any big stuff. The rest will go back in the can. And after I'm done testing these, you'll see how big of a difference in the color of the fluid and how much dirt is in it. So let's get ready and start assembling, huh? Mm -hmm. Cool. One thing I forgot to include is how we're gonna be collecting and testing the amount of fluid that the injectors put out. So here's four just glass jars I got at the dollar store. They got plastic clear lids in them. So I'll drill a hole a little bit bigger than the injector nose in the end of this plastic cap here just to stop any splash and I'll be using this measuring cup after each injector is fired they'll fire all four at the same time after each one is fired I'll pour it in measure you know the ounces or the milliliters that we collected and I'll do it over a certain time say 10 seconds or, or 20 seconds and then multiply that by how many fluid mill, uh, milliliters that we have or ounces and do some calculations and we'll see how many pounds per hour that would be. It didn't go exactly as I hoped it would. It sort of splintered off and cracked and stuff, but it'll serve the purpose of stopping gas from splashing out. All right, here's a quick view. So, of course, I have it mounted on a piece of wood. It's nice and solid. Injectors can go inside the jars. So we're starting to look like something. You can see that it's a fairly tight fit. It's not gonna be spraying any gas out anywhere. That one's kind of messed up. Put it that way. And that one. Now, what I basically need to do is hook up the fuel side, which is only this one hose goes on here. This one is our return, so it'll just go down into the bottle. And this is our pump, so we're just gonna run some wires to the pump, wire each injector. And I'm gonna wire them all so when I Touch the wire on the battery, they'll all go at the same time. Ow. She poked me. Those are the best wire strippers in the world. So here we have our injectors wired up, positive and negative here. They're all wired together. And the fuel system is clamped on. Here's our filter with the return on it. And our pump is down here in the tank. 
I just got to run some wires now, connect the two grounds together, and run a separate power for the pump so I can turn it on, and then manually trigger the injectors. All right, we're almost ready for the experiment. We just got to test the fuel pump. So let's grab our fuel pump wire. Pump's working, return is good. Everything's good here. Now let's test our injectors. Here's our injector wire. That's working. So the pump is holding pressure. All four injectors are firing. Looks like this one or either this one has less. Yeah, one of them's got a little bit less there, doesn't it? So let's pressurize the pump and then we'll do a little bit of a test. Don't pull it up too high, did I? Okay. We can already see that there are some variances in how much fluid. This one seems to have let go the most gas. This one seems to be the least, but I'm gonna run them two or three times because you can see that that is not as clear as it could be. So we'll clean them first, test them, make sure that they're not gonna be leaking. This one has a drip on it. I don't know if that's probably just because there was a bunch of gas just coming out of it. So this is when this one... So let's do some cleaning, pour it back in the container. And then we'll go on to an actual test. One thing we can see about decaps is we have a straight, steady stream of gas rather than like a fog that's atomized really well. Nice and straight, none of them seem to be any worse or better than the others. They do seem to be getting a little bit cleaner. And about the same height. And about the same height. That one just had a drip. If we have any injectors that are leaking, we can't use them. Is this one leaking? I don't know if that one's leaking or not. I'll have to wipe them off and pressurize it. That one's got a bit of a drip going there. The system's still pressurized. So I'm just going to wipe the pintle off with a paper towel. And then we'll leave it for a second. See if any of them leak down. I'm gonna pressurize the pump. I just see a little bit of a drip coming out of that one. Yeah. I see a bit of the stuff right there. That one's definitely leaking. And that one's wet. So that looks like it's leaking. Yeah. So it looks so far like this one's failed the test. That one may be okay. That one looks a little wet, not very much. So out of these four injectors, it looks like only this one isn't leaking. That one's got hydrate on it. This one did a minute ago until I wiped it off and that one seems to be leaking. Yeah, I wish it would focus. One thing I always like to do when you're done testing a set of injectors is to release the pressure off the rail because there's 58 psi rail pressure and if any didn't bleed back we're at max pressure so it's nice to relieve the pressure on your injectors by energizing them. I forgot to do it once and released the, the clip on an injector and made quite the mess. 
I can say it might have took, well, it probably took a long time to clean it all up. Yeah. Okay, pressure's all off. Now we can take out the injectors, throw away these three, keep that one. And I think I'm just gonna go on and retest these again, because those are ones that I already tested clean, make sure they weren't leaking. And I'll test those, see what the flow rate is. And I'd say I'll be using those in the Cadillac. If you're using methyl hydrate like I do, it's best if when you're done, you put it back in a sealed container, because as far as I've seen, I've left it overnight and it'll evaporate. Also, it absorbs moisture and you don't necessarily need water in your system while you're testing that. And that will conclude part one of the injector test bench. Part two, I'll be cleaning and testing each injector, doing calculations for flow matching, and then picking out the set of injectors I'm gonna be in the next video, I'll be doing the calculations, cleaning, and flow matching the injectors, making sure we have a nice balanced set that doesn't leak. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching.